Before weather forecasting, people just used to have to look at the clouds and at animal behaviour to know whether a storm was coming or not. So when weather forecasting came along 160 years ago, it meant that we could much better predict what was going to happen. Now we run one of the world's biggest supercomputers that we use to generate weather forecasts every day. We get data from a bunch of different places, from satellite observations, we even have seals that sense the temperature of the water. We take all these weather observations and we give them to our supercomputer where we can simulate what the world's going to look like in the future. But of course, just generating that data isn't that useful. We need to understand what it means as well. So we prototype new ways to use technology and design and science so that we can visualize all that weather data. Things like Siri and Alexa, augmented and virtual reality, you can really interact with it properly. And the idea here is it lets you find out what you need to know quicker and more easily. So visual presentation of this data is really important because when you can really understand the data, it means you can make better decisions.